At our devotion time today, our time I call a, a time of hope each week, I want to encourage you to never forget that word hope. When you're down and when you're out and when you think you can't get any lower, remember hope. Because hope is something that you get from God and nobody can take it away from you. I guess you can let it go. But why would I want to let go of something so sweet as hope? And I, t today I just want to share something very simple. How much God loves you. Because I want to, you to learn hope comes by living forgiven. Hope comes by living forgiven. It says in Colossians 1.14, God has purchased our freedom with his blood and has forgiven all our sins not a few of them but all our sins and today I want to listen I want you to listen he paid the price not for some not for many but for all A-L-L -L, our sins well why would he come from a perfect place called heaven to an imperfect place called earth where we killed him and crucified him why would he do that one main reason, because his father needed you and I to be forgiven and to learn what forgiveness is. So he sent Jesus, his son, from a perfect place down to an imperfect place as a baby in Bethlehem to a young person at 12. He taught the wise teachers in the temple. We don't know what happened between 12 and 30 in that area, but... He must have been preparing. His father, Joseph, was a carpenter. And so he must have been teaching Jesus things. So you and I need to understand it didn't take him but three years to get through the world known at that time so that good news could be spread. And they went to the Jews, they went to the Gentiles. And those that had not known the Lord as their Savior he was looking for them, but he always had to have somebody like you and me to go and tell our neighbors about him. When was the last time you invited someone to church? When was the last time that you invited somebody to, to come and be a part of your service, to sit with you, uh, take communion together, give together, fellowship together? We have limits with this virus going on, and I know you have a lot of limits being at home because of that. But I do know this, God is in control. God is in control. If God be for me, who can be against me? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Do you hear that? All things through Christ who strengthens me. So remember, God has purchased our freedom with his blood and has forgiven all our sins, Colossians 1.14. Let me close with this simple thought. We didn't earn it. We don't deserve it. And we didn't purchase it. It's a gift that's called hope. Folks, we didn't earn hope. We, didn't, we did not deserve hope. We did not purchase it. Hope, God gave it to us through Jesus Christ. Father, bless the people that are listening today to this short devotion time, and may they uh, grab the, the thought of forgiveness. And maybe they need to renew their their con, con, their conviction about forgiveness. And maybe they need to confess what sins, maybe it's a sin of, of fear, or the sin of doubt, the sin of, of gossip, the sin of pointing at others, the sin of being lazy and forsaking the assembly. And Lord, thank you for this screening so we can show so many people they cannot be at church for the assembly, but they can assemble with this screening in here in this sermon. And they can basically be with multitudes of people who are listening. Lord, touch somebody through this letter of hope today. May they feel it when they're finished that everything's going to be all right. And Lord, it's time for our stinking thinking to change to positive thinking. It's time for us to get on and leave the politics behind and look to you for our strength and not put our hope in politics, but put our hope in Jesus Christ. It's in his name that we pray. Amen.